Hello, my dear students. Myself, Mr. Rohit Suresh Damre. I am working as an assistant teacher in Sundarbai Marathi Vidyalay, Haradi Pune 40. If you still not subscribe my channel, then please subscribe my channel, like and give comments. Today, we are going to learn about the subject general science standard 7 chapter number 2 that is plants structure and function the first topic of this chapter is root what is root so root it is the part of a plant which grows below the soil surface so when the seed germinates there is a radical and plumule in the seed radical is the part that grows from inside the seed towards the soil is called radical while plumule it is the part that grows from inside the seed and grows above the soil is called plumule you can see on your screen radical it is growing in downward direction while the plumule it is growing in upward direction now the parts of the roots you can see on your screen that there are different parts of the roots the part of the plant growing below the soil for support is called root root bear hair like processes called as root hairs the root tip it is delicate part and is the region of region for growth of plant and it is protected by root cap the roots they are of two different types that is the first type of the root is tap roots while the second type of the root is fibrous root the example of tap roots are found in dicotyledonous plants while the fibrous roots they are found in monocotyledonous plants that is monocot plants the first type of the root that is tap root so the tap roots these are the roots of some plants which produce secondary roots that grows obliquely and spread far and wide in the soil that supports plant are called as tap root system so the tap roots are the roots which grows deeply into the soil those roots they are known as tap roots while the second type that is fibrous roots you can see on your screen so the fibrous roots these roots are the thread like or fiber like roots arising from the stem are called as fibrous roots so all the monocot plants they are having fibrous roots the other example of the roots are adventitious roots some roots they are underground whereas some grow from the stem just above the soil they are called as adventitious roots you must have seen these plants monocot plants in your in in the field these uh, in the these plants there are adventitious roots which are growing just above the soil from the stem they are called as adventitious roots the next topic is stem the stem grows above the soil from the plumule of the sprouting seed there are nodes on the stem leaves come out at the nodes the part of the stem between two nodes is called an internode the tip or the apical end of the stem is called bud so you can see on your screen the apical part which is a growing end the bud leaf nodes and internodes 
the next topic is leaf so the broad spread out part of the leaf is called leaf blade or leaf lamina and its edges are called as leaf margins you can see on your screen the there is a leaf margin the leaf margin may be entire or dentate or lobed the tip of the leaf is called leaf apex it may be tapering pointed or rounded leaves of some plants have a stalk called as petioles the portion of the leaf attached to the stem is called leaf base small leaves leaf like structures may be present near the leaf base these are called as stipules these are called as stipules you can see on your screen now these leaves they may be of two different types that is simple leaves and compound leaves okay different plants the arrangement of leaves on the stem is different it may be alternate opposite whorl spiral etc according to the shape the leaves are rounded that is obovate palmate lanceolate linear etc the leaves there are uh, venation is also present in the leaves you can see on your screen the two different leaves are there the first leaf is of a monocot plant while a second leaf is of dicot plant so in case of monocot plants the venation is parallel that is the veins they are parallel to each other that means the venation is parallel while in case of monocot sorry dicot plant the venation it is a reticulate venation that is there is a network of midribs that is um, capillaries flower flower it is a reproductive part of the plant and this the typical flower has a typical parts you can see on your screen that is from starting from the stem there is a stalk of the flower then after that the green leaves leaf like structures are there they are known as calyx a single member of calyx is known as sepals while the next is colored structures are there they are known as corolla and a single member is known as petal the male reproductive parts of the flower they are known as stamens that is androecium and a single member of the androecium is called stamen stamen is made up of two parts that is anther and filament the female reproductive part of the plant is gynoecium single member of gynoecium is known as pistil pistil it is divided into the three parts the upper sticky part known as stigma the middle hollow tube like part is called style while at the base there is a ovary ovary it contains ovules in them so all these are the parts of flower the ovary it is converted into fruit while the ovules which are present in the ovary they are converted into the seeds thank you for watching my video if you really like it then please subscribe my channel like my videos and don't forget to comment thank you